Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be doing a Lisa Frank inspired set. I actually didn't know who Lisa Frank was until I got into nails. And I recently got some materials that I wanna use and I think would go really well. So I'm really excited and let's get into it. So I was recently in Michael's and just, that's my favorite place to go for like random art supplies and found this. And this just reminds me of like Sully's Fur from Monsters, Inc. And I think I just wanna try to like make a hairy rainbow nail. I think that would just look crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear it like normally. So I'm gonna kinda have to think about you know, making this as like a press on, but we'll kind of see what happens when I get there. I don't have too much of a plan going into this, but we'll figure it out. I want to use our Enel Couture, I think. Yeah, these are the 5XL stiletto tips, um, and I do need to size these out. All right, I have all my tips sized and I do kind of want to show you some of the stuff I'll be using today. All right, so in addition to the fur that we've gotten, I want to use some kind of like multicolored foils, definitely keeping like a Y2K vibe. Y'all saw these that I got last week. And then I have some just jelly poly gel and I think we'll kind of do like the Femi Beauty method today for some of these, but I think we can kind of just get started. All right, let's start with our thumb. And first thing I wanna do is actually get some alcohol in here, because we are gonna be using some poly gel. Now, I have two glitters I wanna use. This one from McCart. It's called Pink Lady, and then I actually have no idea what this glitter is, um, but I love how pink it is. So we'll use both of those, and then I'm gonna put them in this poly gel, which is like a jelly pink. Um, but I'll first wanna get the glitter kinda in the nail. I'm gonna put a really thin layer of base coat down, cause I don't wanna fill up too much of the nail. So I'm just gonna kinda pick up some ones that I like, like just some flowers and butterflies. Definitely want one of these larger hearts in here. All right, I'm gonna just try to hold some of these down and flash cure it. All right, and then I'll do another really thin layer. So I think without curing, that second layer of glitter. We can put in our poly gel. All right, I got everything laid. Um, let's prepare my mini lamp, because I probably use too much. Um, that always tends to happen. Yep, I used too much. For our pointer finger, I'm actually gonna put this one on with some solid nail glue. This is from Savvyland. All right, we will actually be skipping our middle finger for now and moving on to our ring finger. And like our pointer finger, I'm gonna put it on the same way because these nails are gonna match. All right, 
so for our pinky we are gonna repeat what we did on our thumb so let's put a little bit of base coat in here Probably only need like that much. I'm like needing to close all of my glitters because I know I'm gonna knock something over. I'm already making a mess. Okay, for, I know this looks crazy. But for the four that we have, I do want to clean up the cuticles and then do a little filing and shaping. So the first four are filed, shaped, and buffed. For these two, I am gonna put uh, Glazed Amore on there from the recent collection we got from Madam Clam. This, I think, was really what inspired me to do this kind of set, just because this color is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm literally so dusty right now. All right, and we'll also do it for our ring finger. All right, so I wanna put some like foil on top of it. Um, just because these kind of go with, like, the Lisa Frank colors. I feel like this plus the pink. And then I do want to do the way I just picked that up. <laughs> I do want to also do, like, that cheetah print that they have. But first, let's get this on. And I'm going to use our Nails by Dev foil glue. Couldn't remember what that was called for a second. That actually looks really cute. That turned out better than I expected. It's just kind of looking like, almost like like watercolor. That's what like it's reminding me of. Yeah, this, what what just happened? Uh, let me change my gloves. Um, I was thinking actually doing like zebra print, just cause I know that would be like, one, a little bit easier and two, I think I can execute it a little bit better. That is actually like really cute. I am gonna cure that and I am gonna protect it with a base coat. All right, let's do our foil gel. All right, 
Let's do our foil that is now all tangled up. Oh my God. All right, so I have these like shiny pink bows that I also wanna use. Um, I only want two of them, so we'll, we'll pull them out. All right, and we'll use our Nails by Dev Top Coat. And before we cure it, I'm gonna put a blob of this. All right, so all we have left is our middle finger, which is gonna be our quote unquote hairy nail. I do want to sharpen this up just a little bit. And then I also wanna buff the surface. So I do wanna open this. This is so like fun. I don't know, I want like a wall of this but I do need to cut out like a teeny little square of this. I guess like right here maybe, I really like these colors. Where are my scissors? So I'm thinking of getting it on there first, kind of wrap it around and then cut off the excess. I almost think the easiest thing would be to use super glue, because I don't think I can cure it with like the light. So I'm just gonna try to put like an even layer over it and hopefully do it before it all dries. Okay, I think it's pretty stuck on there. I'm gonna try to just snip this off as neatly as I can. That's insane. I kinda want, <laughs> I need to give it a little bit of a haircut. Um, and I stuck it on just with like some like sticky tack, the same stuff I used to put my nails on the stands. Cause I'll probably end up like just using some, what's it called? I can never remember the names of any of the stuff that I use. I have those little sticky tabs that you get from like press-ons and I think I'm gonna try to use those just to keep it on. Um, Cause the second this gets dirty, like it's not, it's gonna be gross. All right, and here is the finished look. This is our fuzzy nail. This set in itself is really cute. Just all of these. This is not gonna last long. I'll probably have to take that off, but I'm really happy with how these turned out. All right, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I am so happy with how these nails turned out. I did make a replacement one um, just 
so that I can function like a normal everyday person. I'll definitely be posting some photos of the fuzzy nail on my Instagram. I'll leave that linked below, but definitely go check that out. But I do love doing like experimental stuff like this. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.